Sorry for your loss, son. It's okay. Is it okay if I read this note? Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you your time. Hey, son. If you're here, you are hearing this message. Then it must mean that I wasn't able to make it back. Of course. My work as a soldier has asked the greatest sacrifice of me. I am sending this message with the hope of that it might offer you some understanding. Despite the pain that must be burning in your heart, there's something I forgot to share with you before. Well, share with you for a while. James, I love you. I never did get a chance to say enough while I was with you, but it's something that has always resonated me. Resonated me. In the face of the unknown life and the military paints a very vivid picture of my child from my childhood. I remember how I used to take you camping in the backyard. You were barely bigger than the tent at the time when you were pointing out the stars. And I was always told you there, was, there were parade soldiers from the far or, or forever shining down on us. It was those nights that shaped my dream to serve our beloved country. Take your time, I understand. Continue. Not only that, but the fishing ship trips. Those early mornings where I taught you how to cast the line, telling you that patience and focus will very certainly get you a catch. Well, I hope they do. The lessons and the fish alike I wanted to teach you to be patient, to the, be resilient hopes you would carry those lessons all through your life. Even in the dark, when we were on a mission in the silence of black night, I would look up to the stars and remember our soldiers shining down on us. They provided comfort because they reminded me of home. They reminded me of you. They reminded me of, well, why I was fighting and what I was fighting for. I want you to remember these moments, remember the joy they brought us, the bond they forged between us. And I want you to find comfort in them rather than let my absence cloud us, our share of past. I hope this message brings you peace knowing this. Okay. Okay. If I could, I would have fought a hundred more battles just to get back home to you. I'm fortunate, but fortunately, life sometimes has different paths, plans. My biggest regret is leaving you with this pain. All I can hope is that you will remember, you will have remembered me with a smiling face and a brave heart. I chose these boots, this uniform, and I knew the risk. It was all because of the love of this nation and its future of freedom for you. So please don't, so please son, don't mourn me, celebrate me. I lived a life of honor. I've raised challenges and I got a chance to love you. You are my hero. And if I'm remembered as half the man that you will become, then I could consider my life a, a rousing success. I gotta sign off now, but one more time, forever and always, I love you. Touching. Well, your dad also wanted to give you this, okay? Those are all of his medals. 
Your father was one of the most highly decorated soldiers in our in our platoon. He wanted you to keep this. said was going to guide him back home to you. It, it still works. We kept him with him at all times. So I thought we should have that. It will be useful one day. I will make use of it. if you want. I just might one day. Just might. It's a hat. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try it on? Maybe. I'm with you. It's comfy. I really like it. Thank you. Of course. Well, there's only one more thing. I say two more things. A watch. How was the watch that he said? He wanted to give to you on your birthday. I know it's right around the corner, so I thought maybe you should get it early. Early Christmas present? No, early birthday gift. Mm -hmm. That was nice of him. If you ever need anything, you can always come to me or any of our brothers, okay? <laughs> 